That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge. So I'll beat you up. When you're close to another player, Harry, you can use your action key to kick or shove them. <gasps> ah, okay, I can spam click them and not kick them in the head. But don't worry, Harry. Welcome to charms class. Today, we shall be learning the scourge charm. Scourge? Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please. Please, Professor. We all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts. Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. Now, back to magic <laughs> reality. Mr. Potter, perhaps you'd like to step forward and demonstrate Scourge for the class. Glad to, Professor. <laughs> he changed that topic very fast. All right. Try not to focus on all this Chamber of Secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. Yes. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Yep. Round one. Go. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. I did it. Wow, it was so challenging. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. It's gonna be like Ten up and down. To Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Up, up. Okay. Left, right, left, right, up, up. Well there done. There we go. You've completed all of the necessary exercises. 15 points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. <laughs> I don't remember if Flitwick explained what Scourge was. <laughs> Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Sweet. Let's go. Okay, you guys are done. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. Excellent. So it's ghost goo. Scourge! Scourge! Alright. Scourge! 
How many secrets are in this area? Seven. We will find them. So if that's ectoplasm, is there like, uh, ghosts too that I'm gonna have to encounter? Scourge! Oh, is that the Bloody Baron? Lependo. You could also cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Oh, I see. Scourge. Let's get rid of it. heard a frog somewhere. Near? Ah, wizard card. Bridget Wedlock, famous arithmancer, first to establish the magical properties of the number seven. Well, there's seven secrets I have to find. That's magical in itself. Can I make this? Oh, there's that frog. Ectoplasm takes away some of your stamina, Harry. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, the more stamina you lose. Oh no! Stop! Okay, so don't touch the ghost goo. He just wanted us to clean up this this tower. Well, there you go. Stop. Uh, this side's locked. Okay, I guess I have to go this way. Another one. There's two. I can't even knock them anywhere. Whoa, where are they coming from? There's so many. They're gonna shoot me. Are there no? Are these not a secrets? They look like they should be. Oh no, oh. it's peeves. If it isn't spotty, grotty, stotty, potty, water, I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. Aha! Oh, can I scourge you? Scourge, scourge, scourge. Oh, what is that? He's casting like a vodka at me. <laughs> gotcha! Peeves, you're not nice. I mean, I guess that's the point of him. That opened up, now I can get back. And go to the save book so I can save this. Alright, what's next? Flipendo. Hmm, that's odd. What is this room? Get these beans. Darn. Fuck. 
thanks for showing me the way. We're gonna treat Mark? In a bottle? I gotta get back up there. Frog! There we go. Alright. No, I don't like those sounds. No thanks. Oh yes, I like uh, wizard cards though. Greta Catchlove, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Aww, look at her cheese. She's so proud of it. Hmm. Oh! Wasn't expecting you. Get out of my way. Ah, another one! Can you guys, like, not... Oh, I like that picture up there. That's cool. It must be the headless hunt. <sighs> Gotta look everywhere. Another one! Flavius Belby, only wizard ever to survive a lithofold attack. What's a lithofold? He looks pretty beat up. By a bed? Lithofold. I might have to look that up. No! <laughs> Where are they coming from? I gotta get a snail all the way over here. That looks like a secret. You, come here. Full speed ahead. Oh, alright, that's as far as you go. Fulbert the Fearful, famous for being so cowardly, he never ventured out of his house, died when a defensive charm backfired and the roof fell in. Oh! It's back! You are stunned. Stay stunned. Oh wait, I need that other guy. Just gotta go on that platform. Alright. Other snail dude. Get over here, please. There we go. So that's over there. I wanna go this way. So I can't get this. Can I break it? Yes, okay. I can get it then. So if I find a cauldron, I can make another... Um, what was the potion? Wigan Weld. I haven't needed to use one yet, so I'm not worried.
Uh, where was that now? Hmm. Bloody Baron, you scared now, me. That is a Cornish pixie. Troublesome and annoying creatures they are. If they touch you, they will bite, so try to avoid them. Rictus Emperor will stun them. Rictus Emperor! Still don't know what this guy did. Let's cast it again. See if it did anything back here. Oh, I must have done this. Supposed to be doing anything with these guys? I guess that's nowhere for them to really go. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing stuff. I don't like that feeling. Gregory the Smarmy, medieval, dates unknown, famous originator of Gregory's un unctuous unction. Potion to persuade the drinker that the giver is their very best friend. Alleged to have wormed his way into King Richard's confidence and thus made his fortune. One more and we get a key. Two more secrets I need. I don't like this. Is that it? I feel like there's gnomes somewhere. I heard them at some point. Rather not deal with them. What did that do? Was that supposed to do something? I'm guessing I need a wait on this lever. What's with the music? It's just drums. Something about this room I don't like. I knew it! I knew it! There was gonna be gnomes. Where's the other one? <laughs> Bowling pins. <laughs> it's absolutely chaotic sounding in there. Roland Cake, president of English Gobstone Team. Oh, you 
don't give me lots. I should have plenty of beans and then I can buy that broomstick. Not sure how much of an advantage it gives me. Okay, yeah. Another star. Challenges menu. I still need two more secrets. Still doesn't tell me how many stars I needed. Did this do? Oh, I see. Well, there's the star, but I'm still missing a secret somewhere. What did I miss? Oh, no. Oh, you scared me. Am I not supposed to shoot him or anything? Oh, but I missed a challenge. I missed a secret somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I have no clue where it would be. Do I want to go back and look? All right, we'll just go to the end. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've completed my Scourge challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Point ceremony starting soon. Alright. Ah, I forget that he just doesn't give me beans. Alright, let's do this. Get me some, some bonus beans. Oh wait, I can do this now. Oh wait, no I can't. There's a cobweb block in the way. Oh well. Hello everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Sweet. Now, can, does Gryffindor always win it, or is it is there potential for me to fail? Um, I kind of want to go this way, because I didn't get to finish it last time. Nah, I'm not going to get the chest. They're too slow for me. this way. There's more back there? Oh dang, these beans go far. Oh. 
Oh no. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Harry, I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Do you really think there's a chamber of secrets? I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here, and Filch isn't. Remember yep. all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a look. I can't go in there. That's a girl's bathroom. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. Explain. She one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. There she I is. I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. Who can the heir of Slytherin be, though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realising it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice Potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realise it was really Harry. Two of the potion ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered bicorn horn and shredded boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. I'm not sure about the shredded boomslang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boomslangs and corridors full of goo. This should be enjoyable. <laughs> All right, I've been having so much fun, but uh, I'm gonna have to play more another day. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you're enjoying it and stay tuned for the next part. See ya.